Do you have a moment like, okay, your leg's broken or, you know, do you have a moment where you remember going, I want to do that? Honestly, since I was like, as soon as I can remember, like, um, as soon as I gained consciousness, I liked it. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Gamefly. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, let's get on to today's show. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including my guest. And my guest today it has been performing for half her life, she's a, since she was eight, and I met her at Soul Belly Barbecue at the Songwriter Showcase hosted by Hal Savar. Uh, over time, it has migrated, and now we're at Taverna Costera every Thursday, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., and I also live stream it if you want to jump on the channel and check that out. But I met her back on July 14th last oh, year. God. Been almost a year. Um, <laughs> this is a singer and songwriter full of hidden talents that we'll get into. And I, are you performing at Traverna Costera? This, well, it doesn't matter because this isn't going to post for like a month. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. I don't know. Ask her her self-titled debut EP is out now. Please welcome to the channel, Cam Elise. Say hi, Cam. Hello. Welcome to oh, the channel okay. officially. Hold on. Clunk. It is water. Cam is 15. I am not, a, you know, contributing to the delinquency. And her parents are right there. Okay. <laughs> um, so first off, thank you for coming on. And I wanted to ask, are, do, have you gone to any sort of like school of rock or any sort of um, lessons? Or is, this, is your sound mostly self-taught? So... I okay. Here's a fun fact of how I started like the music like professionally. I was a gymnast and then I fractured my ankle, so I couldn't do gymnastics anymore. Mm. So my parents like always knew that I was into music, so they um, signed me up for School of Rock. So I started there when I was eight. So that's when I actually started singing. Right on. I asked because having seen many people perform and reviewed many people's music. Um, it's very obvious that there's music theory in there, and there's right. very, it's very obvious that your songwriting you've learned about dynamics and about you know um, breath control and things like that. Mm. So good on you, <laughs> and good on you, parents. I tried throwing lessons at my kid and didn't stick. <laughs> um, I, I'm some of my questions don't work necessarily for you because. You're 15 years old. Yeah. However, that being said, you've been performing since you were eight. Mm -hmm. I want to ask, what is, do you have a moment, like, okay, your leg's broken, or, you know, do you have a moment where you remember going, I want to do that? Honestly, since I was like, as soon as I can remember, like, um, as soon as I gained consciousness, <laughs> I liked it. We, I, I lived in Pennsylvania until I was six, and I had a rock in my backyard that was my stage. Wow. So I would just sing on the stage. So you, yeah. it was pretty obvious. Yeah, they knew. They had no choice. They knew. Right on. Oh, by the way, if you want to be like Cammy, sorry, if you want to be like Cam, run, <laughs> come on the channel. <laughs> We're having fun. Uh, if you want to be on the channel, featured on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address down below in the description or click the Room 6 social media link. That's also where you find what else I'm up to online and ways you can support the channel should you so decide to help me in my crusade to basically promote local music all around the world. Now then, oh yeah, while you're down there, feel free to like, share, subscribe, all the all the YouTube things, help the algorithm, blah, blah, blah. So, can we talk about cami cakes? Oh, okay. <laughs> cami cakes, where you make amazing cakes. Um, it started out when I was in quarantine and I was really bored because... I was doing like vocal lessons online, but that can only take you so far. Mm -hmm. And baking was just something that like appeared kind of. Um, so I realized I was kind of good at it. So I, my parents thought it would be a good idea to start a business. So candy cakes. I'm lucky my name starts with a C. So it's Alliteration. pretty obvious. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, I had to really check the site out to <laughs> make sure it was you. Because like, yeah. sometimes maybe I got it wrong, you know. It's probably outdated by now. <laughs> um, I don't know. Just a little. Uh, I'm trying to figure it. Yeah, it's probably a few years mm -hmm. based on the pictures of you. Yeah. So. Right on. So from there. Uh, but for those of you that don't know, 
I also am part of a songwriter showcase hosted by House of R where I'm, I'm live streaming it and I'm doing reviews. You can find them on the channel like every week. From the very beginning, the very first time I saw Cam perform, it was very obvious. Like I said, there was a lot of um, talent and also training involved. And people just naturally love what you do. Like it, you, so far, I, it, it no, because let's be honest, there are times where musicians, you can tell like, okay, they're struggling a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you say, go, you know, it's all right, go for it, yeah. Not you. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> so, good on you. Um, I got a note here that says March Tennessee shows. Oh. Okay, spring break. We went to Nashville. It was very country. I'm surprised uh -huh. I didn't come back with, like, a country accent. It was very country. But it was super cool. Mm -hmm. Because um, they're just, all the musicians there are very supportive. That's what I hear. Like, um, usually here, a lot of people that follow me online are just people who like love music, which is really cool. But Nashville, it's other musicians following musicians. So right. all the people that I've gained connections with in Nashville are all like local musicians there. So it's really cool. Right on. Um, stick around, by the way. We're going to be seeing a couple of uh, songs up in room six from Cam. You're going to love it. Promise. Um... Do you know Camden West? Did you meet him when he uh, performed at Traverna? I don't think so. Well, he basically spends most of his time in Nashville. He is, like, you listen to him, you're like, oh, you're a pro. <laughs> you're a pro and you are slumming it with us. Thank you very much. And, uh, but he is someone that you should definitely get to know because he does, okay. he does come here a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and he is super supportive. But, uh, and I want him on the channel, Camden. Plus, Cam, Cam. I mean, yeah. come on. Wait, is it Cam with a C? Yes. Oh, okay. Camden, good. which I had good. never heard of that name before him. So, um, I don't know if this question pertains to you again because of how long you've been performing, been performing um, actually like yeah. proper shows. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds so elitist. Uh. <laughs> but so far, what is your favorite show memory where you were performing or something oh, that, God. and it can be, when I say favorite, I mean. What is that one that sticks out in your head as either like that went way off the rails or that checked off some rock star wish list moments or, you know, uh, dude fell from the... No. <laughs> Honestly, I have had a lot of good experiences, but um, my first my first kind of like real performance, mm -hmm. uh, I was at Ferguson's downtown and my vocal coach, uh, Jessica Manalo, mm. invited me to sing a few songs up there with her and her band. And it was like the moment where I thought, hmm, I like this, doing it on my own. Ah. So it was right after, it was early 2022, so it was kind of right when things were opening up again. Right on. So, that, was a yeah. that was a beautiful time to be in the music scene because... Yeah. As soon as shows were a thing again, it didn't matter what you did. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter who was on the bill. Every venue was packed. It, it, everybody loved whatever you were doing. You could have been up there, like, you know, singing, I don't know, Sweet Caroline all for, yeah. for 45 minutes straight. It, they loved it, and it was awesome. Uh, and, and a lot of the clickiness that was in some of the scenes, such as metal and punk, uh, uh, seemed to have kind of went away, and, and mm -hmm. hopefully they're not going to come back, people. Anyway, you mentioned, uh, like, on your own, I was going to ask you, having heard you perform, your music would lend itself great with a band. Yeah. And, I, and, and any plans for that? Um, it would be really cool, too. The problem is no one really takes a 15-year-old girl at that seriously, if that makes sense. You know, and nobody so, your, your age group is playing um, to where you want to have them. And <laughs> I mean, kind of, but the problem is... It's like the school I'm at doesn't have a lot of music programs, so I don't really right. know anyone besides myself. If that makes sense. Maybe you could reach out to uh, School of Rock alumni. Mm -hmm. Well, I actually was at School of Rock with Liam and Dylan. That's how I know them. Oh! So yeah, we knew each other like six years ago. Right on. So. Liam of the dead hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they Yeah, they've been on the channel too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they uh, they were fun. and it It's always fun when you have brothers or, or fam uh, siblings. Because you never know, is there going to be an like, is there going to be kind of snarkiness, or are they mm -hmm. going to be making fun of each other, and or, or what? And they're they're great. To, they're a nice example of how to be brothers, at least on camera. So, 
Can we talk about your axe throwing gig? Oh. The, okay, so. Well, I was supposed don't look at mom. Mom can't help you. I was supposed to do an axe throwing gig in mm-hmm. Nashville, and then I got sick that morning. I had to cancel. Oh, bummer. It sucked that I couldn't get axe thrown behind me all soon. But. Um, when you say behind you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I swear. It's in like a different section. There's like a restaurant. Right on. But. Um, the the really cool thing about Nashville is that they have writers rounds. Yeah, so I've heard of that. The mic, so you'll be in a group of like four musicians, and you'll take turns singing songs. And it's all original stuff, and I didn't think I'd like it because I'm kind of shy, so I didn't really know how to interact what? with people. I don't know. No. <laughs> um, I liked it a lot. I I felt very supported by everyone, so it was cool. I like that. That's the one thing we don't have in Vegas, which. We're working yeah. on it. Well, yeah. That's it is like there's no reason why Vegas shouldn't have that kind of supportive. Right. I mean, it it is a, it is getting there. Mm-hmm. I have seen it with my own eyes, and and of course I'm trying to do my part. Uh, but it's um, it's because of the transient nature of this town as well. Everything's cover songs. You gotta. Yeah. Well, that's the audience, especially on the strip. Trust me, so. and that's why the songwriter showcases like Hal's and and the open mics and and just every original music show is so important. Especially if they're all ages. Especially if they're all ages. Have you been to Eagle Larry Hall? No. That's all ages. What is that? Well, about in Old Town Henderson, <laughs> in Old Town Henderson on I think Pacific Avenue, uh, it's a fraternal one of those you know like the Elks or whatever, but it's uh, Eagles Airy. Um, and, uh, you see kids, and Airy is where eagles build their nests. It's up high. Anyway, Eagles Airy Hall, uh, they've got their members only, but they also have, like, a, a little, um, community room that they'll rent out, mm-hmm. and there are all-ages shows there of mostly, like, metal and, and punk and, you know, the loud stuff, heavy stuff, but <laughs> you're seeing, like, seven bill, seven bands for ten bucks, you know? Right. It's crazy, the, the, the deals, but also, uh, there's the space. Mm-hmm. Which is all ages, and that amazes me. I did you walk in, there's a bar right there. Yeah. I did school rock shows there. Right on. I love the space. I, I've se- I've yeah, seen it's ten really year olds. Nice in there. Yeah, I've seen ten year olds moshing. <laughs> 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 Their parents are just so proud. Like yeah. <laughs> um, and what else? Uh, American Legion for, uh, Post Eight. That's another one that has a lot of those kind of underground mm-hmm. street level shows, but they're all ages. At least that's my okay, understanding. That's good to know. But I digress. We're always looking for new stuff. Right. So. I digress. We're going to take a quick break here, okay? Because okay. we have a message from future Josh, and uh, I'm almost out of my water. So, uh, water break. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. If you're like me, your free time comes at a high price. Once you factor in work, family, friends, and unexpected plans, it can be hard to find some me time for yourself. That's where video games come in. But what to play? Well, just like me... You might have commitment issues when it comes to buying video games. Good news! Gamefly is here to beat your personal time boss levels. Gamefly is the leading online video game rental service in the United States. They deliver the widest selection and availability of games for all the major consoles. Some of the benefits of membership include value. Memberships start for as low as $9.50. Selection. Gamefly has the largest selection of video games anywhere with thousands of titles including all the new releases and classics. Convenience. Gamefly delivers games to your door. Shipping is free both ways, and there are no late fees. Savings. Gamefly members get free shipping on products such as controllers, accessories, and collectibles. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time only, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to save even more money by checking out their pre-played game sale. You'll get the convenience of services like Netflix designed for busy gamers like you and me. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Gamefly for being a sponsor, and let's get back to today's video. We're back. And if that sponsor spot interested you at all, please consider clicking the link down in the description for it. You'll save some money. I'll make some money. It's a win-win. Yay. Now then, uh, back to you. A couple more questions, and then we're going to see Cam perform up in room six. Stick around for that. What? You mentioned you, uh, you grew up in Pennsylvania? Uh, yes, for a certain amount of time. Yes. Okay. And you were moved here? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's an interesting story. Yeah. It, oh, please. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I was born in Scranton, and... I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
was pretty scary. <laughs> um, and in 2015, we moved here, but we drove from Pennsylvania to Nevada with all of our pets Yeesh. and all of everything. So it was like a week journey traveling. Sounds uh, horrible. Yeah. That sounds hideous. It's pretty rough. Yeah. Um, so I was like six or seven. So. Just old enough to mi- complain, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, mom and dad. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and was that it? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I made it sound so much. Yeah, more I was serious. like, and then suddenly, you know, biker gang came out of nowhere yeah. and <laughs> offered us pottery. <laughs> right on. So, um, at, I guess then you have no idea what the music scene in PA was like or Scranton. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. The the only experience I had in music back then was, you know, like on my stage outside. Mm. And um, Your rock stage. Yeah. I was like in sing, singing lessons when I was like five. I think that's hilarious. You literally put on rock shows. I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's an album, the album name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so speaking of your album, <laughs> um, where did you record that? Here? Um, I went, yeah, I went to The Hideout. It's, oh yeah yeah so it's a really cool place and it it's is. super neat i like it there nice yeah right on how long did that process take um was it multiple visits this, yeah we did actually i recorded torn first and then we redid it at the end because that was my first time ever recording in a studio scratch track so right. it was kind of just me getting comfortable so mm-hmm. i had like Four visits and all, and then that's still pretty pretty quick. Yeah, it was, um, it was, how, how many songs was your album? Uh, three on the EP. So <laughs> right on. It was um, it took about like two months, and it was out. Right on. Yeah. Is any plans for an upcoming recording situation? Yeah. Cool. Let me know, and I'll rec- okay. I'll review it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, anything semi soon, or is it just um like summer? So. Summer. Some, uh, sure. Uh, cool. I'm recording now. So. Right on. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified when I review that. Okay. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, go ahead. Yeah, sure. Um. So, last question. You made it. Yay! Yay. Make sure you stick around. A couple songs upstairs, including Torn. Uh, Torn. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Yes. And. And I also make sure you check out the social media handles down or uh, all the social media links down in the description for Cam so you can find out where she's playing, when she'll be at Taverna Costera. And uh, you're there often lately. Yeah. I mean, I took a break for school because yeah. school was school kicking my butt. Mm-hmm. But Stay in have, school, kids. I have a lot of more scheduled now. So. Noise. Oh. So we're going to. Th- this is also kind of different than. Normal question, just strictly off age. It's, it's an ageist question. Okay. We're going to circle back to that earliest musical influence question. Oh my goodness. Pop. Okay. Okay, so we're going to talk to little you. Okay. Okay. And normally what I ask is, what's one thing you wish you could go back and tell little you, hey, you're going to need to know this. Mm-hmm. However. I'm still learning. Still learning. But also, yeah. um, you've hopefully got a long career ahead of you. Hopefully. So, instead what I'm going to do is, Let's talk to that little one, mm-hmm. and um, let's give them one thing you're proud of, and one thing that you regret so far. Oh God! Musically, oh, God. musically. Okay. <laughs> Deep. Um. Welcome to the show, kid. Okay. <laughs> the 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 most thing I'm the thing I'm most proud of. Probably just um, being able to write songs that, like, in my personal opinion, don't suck. They do not. Um, I think it's pretty impressive that I have music out at a somewhat young age. So it's very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'll regret. <laughs> this would be the hey, kid, you're gonna need to like, you know, maybe don't do this. Yeah. Um. Probably a good. What's a good? I need advice. What's a good way to tell a word that like I can't? I can't be shy. I can't give up. Something cheesy like that. To work, I was gonna say regret is not being more into social media. Oh <laughs> wow! That's a good one. Mom said See, to regret really not good. being into social media uh-huh. more. Or music. 
Yeah, it is a tool. Like, yeah. it is a big old tool, uh, and, and you're doing yourself a disservice if you're not doing it more. My regret is being born in a time where social media is amazing. Because <laughs> it kind of sucks, because that's kind of the way into the music industry now. And mm-hmm. shocking, I'm a 15-year-old, but I don't like social media that much. Right. So it's very hard to make videos of myself singing and post it online. Oh, I get it. Yeah. I totally do. And uh, I also, believe it or not, I have two albums out, and I've performed in front of, you know, multi, you know thou- over a thousand people. Mm-hmm. And, and you're just like, I feel weird making a TikTok of yeah. me playing, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's why the Room 6 TikTok channel slowly changed into promo clips of each video when I post it, right. as opposed to me trying to be funny or asking that magic box over there to roast me, which she comes up with some zingers. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I get it. So that, that's good. And, and I think little you would, would, would have benefited from those things. Mm-hmm. So um, good on you. And you know what? Congrats on being brave enough to face those things. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being on the channel. Stick around. We're going to go upstairs to room six and watch the amazing Kamalis perform a couple songs, and then we'll catch you in the outro. In the meantime, temporarily say goodbye. Bye. See you in a minute. Hello. My name is Kim, and this song is called Torn.
called The Unknown.
I want to thank Cam Elise for coming on the show. It was a great interview and an awesome performance. If you want to know more about her, hit those social media links down in the description. Definitely check her out. And if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, click over there. Ring the bell. You know the drill. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing. And we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say goodbye, Cam. Bye! Ba-da-ba-ba-da-bum.